It's October 20th, 2024, 7 in the morning. It's dark, cold, foggy, and uh, a lot of moisture in the air. We had a light frost this morning. Uh, I'm sad at this time of part of the year because the mowing season the mowing season is about over. I love mowing. It's I, I love being outside mowing lawns and working. And uh, it's just sad. Here I'm walking next to the Susquehanna River. It's all fo foggy and cold and but it's, uh, I don't know. It's kind of nice. I like it. The steam coming off the, the water there. You can see, I see that. Oh, it's just uh, good hunting weather. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Is that better? Yeah, I gotta lose weight. I'm having a lot of health problems this year. Tons of problems. Uh, I've, I'm, my body and how I feel have been off all year. I don't feel right. I've been going to multiple doctors multiple doctor's appointments i've had recently a colonoscopy and a endoscopy and i've had a whole lot of other tests this year with heart monitors and cat scans and mris and nobody can figure out what's wrong with me and it's gets really uh frustrating when you got health problems and you're just trying to live your life that's why you want to make every day you, you want to make every day like the best. You want to try and live every moment of every, of every day because someday our bodies get uh, something happens and then uh, we don't feel good anymore for the rest of our lives. And I'm hoping I'm not at that point yet, but um, I don't know. I could be, and I don't want that. So if you're healthy and you're able to live every moment of every day the best you can because... You never know when it's going to end, and I don't know, maybe you can't walk anymore, you are got cancer, and you're, you feel sick every day, all day. That's how I felt this year. I feel sick and weird, and I've had uh, fainting, passing out, and I don't know, once in a while, and I can't eat food like I used to, and uh, I'm on the bathroom toilet all the time, and... Uh, I don't know, it's this bad. I don't like it. I want to go back to feeling normal. And uh, that's why you want to live every day the best you can. Get out and live every day. Work on a dream of yours. Go for a walk. Because walking is a great meditation tool. It gets you out to see the world in a different perspective. Driving in a car, going down a road, you pass things too fast. You don't have, a, you don't have time to just look around and think about things. When you're like when you're walking so walking has uh i think 10 or 20 different good positive things well, i'm not talking jogging a lot of people jog i guess that's okay but or i think that's hard on your knees and your body when you're jogging doing a nice br brisk walk is uh i think uh the best medicine for you so um i want to start my youtube channel back up and I want to make, uh, I want to change things up and do things differently. And uh, I think the world is a wonderful place, but people make it very ugly. I don't run with the crowd. I like doing things my own way. I don't follow other people. I think for myself. And I think that's a really good thing people need to start doing is stop getting with the crowd that thinks just one way. Think for yourself. Look at things your own way. You know, look at things on your own and come up with your own conclusions and on whatever it is. Um, today, politics is a big thing. And uh, uh, the world's got really ugly. And I'm not the only one walking out here. I already passed six or seven people walking or jogging this morning. So, hey, a good time to walk is in the morning. Although I kind of prefer evenings. This is kind of cool if you can get yourself out of bed early enough to get out here. 